Are we live? We're live. <clears throat> We're live. Chef Jay Barnard here, and this is Late to Play episode number 20? 20? 21, maybe. 21. 20 or Do we 21? have a royal flush? 21? Is that a flush? I, I don't even know what episode. It's been going on for a while. All I know is when I pick 21 in the casino and it's on roulette. Dig, 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 dig. Three! Son of a beep! More of a Blackjack fan. <sighs> exactly. So, folks, uh, some exciting news. Uh, if you're in the secondary market and looking for some equipment... Or if you want to start a meat processing plant. Or if you want to start a meat processing plant. Or perhaps you're uh, somebody that uh, cuts moose meat up or deer meat. Or possibly sending partridges through a um, um, <laughs> sausage stuffer. If you, want to, if you want to be a butcher. Or if you want to be a butcher or perhaps open your own butcher shop. Uh, or a hobby or honestly whatever the hell you want. Whatever you want. <clears throat> us folks over here at Freshwater Cuisine are blowing out some items. What blowing we, out. What do we got? You know what? This is what's crazy torn. We're going to beat Boxing Day. By two weeks. By, by, by what? Yeah. I guess it's a week. It's a week. We're going to beat Boxing Day by a week. We're going to blow out our VMAG stuffer. We're going to blow out our meat injector. We're going to blow out our liquid smoker. Industrial holds up to 600 pounds smoke of meat. Smokehouse. It's a liquid smokehouse. Smoke liquid smokehouse. So, I mean, for all you... a meat slicer. Uh, and for all you young folks out there that like to smoky smoky, the smokehouse might actually work for you. Uh, so there's always other uses besides smoking meat and fish with that smoke. Okay, you can't forget about the 75 kVA transformer. <laughs> yes, and we have a transformer too. So, folks, we know you're all watching in the uh, Oakville, Hamilton, Burlington area where Carling beer is made. And the only reason I know that is because I bought beer on Christmas Day when there was a long lineup and uh, in Hamilton. Didn't you know that? Any hooch. Give us an email at uh, sales at freshwatercuisine.com. Call us. Or call. We never do this, but here's the phone number. 807-543-6565. Operators are standing by. <laughs> and all our operators right now are uh, busy uh, because we have so many phone calls coming in for this uh, used equipment. No um, reasonable offer will be refused. <laughs> that is absolutely correct. And in all seriousness, we do have all this equipment. Uh, we actually have three nice coolers too. So if you are four. opening four, maybe even five, uh, if you are opening up, uh, whatever you're opening up. We I can don't help care. You it doesn't matter. We can help you out. We will not judge. We will not. Might even deliver for we the We do right take price. American Express, but we want to keep the air miles. <laughs> uh, okay. Now that that's done. But we got a new work truck. Please buy this equipment. We got a new work truck. That's a nice one, eh? That's a nice one. Yeah, we got a new work truck. That's cool. Um, Christmas is coming. That's exciting. Uh, the plant is, we're actually going to close. You're going back to Thunder Bay. Yeah, we're, this is the last episode of 2017. Yeah, I don't know, because like the 28th is like a Wednesday, isn't it? 28th No, 27th. 27th is a Wednesday. 27th. So, uh, folks, we, uh, me... <laughs> not we, me, uh, might be holding the phone by myself on the 27th while we do some cooking. I hope you hold it up as close to your face as you did for that. Uh... Going to go with a hard pass, and um, hmm. yeah. the mail guy is here to uh, drop us off a nice parcel. Oh, oh you want to go get the mail guy? Uh, I got the camera. Yes, I'll go get the mail guy. I'll just show everyone what we're working with. Okay, you show them. We got some uh, root vegetables here. We got a beet. Is this a beet, Jay? Got uh, an onion. Oh, biscuit fruit. That's my business card. So I got meals. Garlic. Some northern pike steaks. <laughs> some freeze dried parsley. What do we got, Jay? Uh, we got uh, the great and talented Vista Print. Uh, I'm going to say these are my business cards. Those are your business cards. Are they? You know, let's just. This is how it'll feel on Christmas morning when I'm with Destiny. I hope you open something more exciting than uh, business well, cards. Look at this. Why is there so many? Because uh, you wanted a thousand. Oh. And that's a business card holder. Oh, nice. So, folks, uh, <laughs> we... Keep those boxes. I need them for wrapping. Don't, oh. don't destroy them. And put all your business cards somewhere. I need those boxes. Do you? Uh, I heard there's like 500 of them in the office that you could use out of a 
box. Well, they're a little big. That's that's a better size. Happy holidays. Vista print. Vista print. Also, um, no one's really been sending us any Christmas cards. Just putting that one up. <laughs> just looking for some Christmas oh. cards. Maybe a Christmas present. <laughs> um, uh, thank you, Harvester Nets, and thank you, uh, Chris and uh, Al down there at the Scotia Bank. Because we know you're richer than you think. The rest of you, I mean, uh, we know it's coming. Yeah. Just taking uh, time. Just put that off in the fridge. Hmm. Good place. Uh, did you show them our awesome... Oh, uh, yeah. We uh, built the staff a lunchroom. We built the staff a lunchroom. So now and we can actually show this on camera. And the great and talented Shelly McBride, who is my very beautiful mother, put together a nice dainty tray for us. Um, these are nice little cookies, yeah. Uh -huh. And the staff, who um, turns uh, out doesn't eat anything other than pizza pops. <laughs> And only cheese. The pepperoni in a pizza pop is... A, no I pepperoni in the pizza pop. Cheese. Cheese whiz? Too much. <laughs> Too much fake cheese for Too me. Much. My three cheese pizza pop? Perfect amount of fake cheese. What else happened? Um, 60 million Friday. That's the way we get out of this equipment crisis. <laughs> get your Lola Max ticket! Okay. Let's get into the pike stakes. Back to uh, seriousness. We are uh, pairing up with the Clover Belt, and we're doing another uh, second, the second Love Local Box, correct? Yeah, first time we did tulipies. Yep. And Someone we, cooked the tulipie. We did tulipies. Uh, folks, if you're watching at the Clover Belt... Uh, no one's you know, watching. Okay, that's even better, because we love when no viewers watch. That's going to get us on to... <laughs> anyway, um... We would love to see you cooking. We'd love to see you pictures of your fish. We'd love to see your recipes. We'd love to hear feedback, which we did get some feedback on the tulipy, and it was phenomenal and We easy. also had some guy out of Toronto who asked if you could do it with any fish. I don't yeah. know how he found the video. Also on recipe for turkey. Yeah, so if there's anybody out there for recipes for turkey, because I am only a fish chef now. Uh, well, you know what I call a uh, pike? Turkey of the lake. Turkey of the lake pike. That is absolutely right. You know, so, like how tuna's chicken of the sea. So yeah. our whole mission with these... Who is that? Yeah, I think it's the boys. Our whole mission with the uh, Love Local boxes was to use the underutilized, undervalued, unappreciated fish in our lakes, correct? Correct. So we did a phenomenal dish with the tulipy, which not a lot of people know about, stuffing it, stuffing it with local wild rice from Canadian Puree Wild Rice Lady. Pure. Pure, which I, I love her to death because she's given us some blueberries and she's given us wild rice and she gave us those pine um, pine shoots, remember those? Yeah, some gooseberries. Yeah, or gooseberries too. too. Uh, and we baked it in the oven. Oh, we did. It was nice meta -span Mediterranean or yeah, Spanish? Yeah, Mediterranean, Spanish, Italian, however you want to put it. I used to do it at the boathouse um, and we sold a whole bunch of them. This week we're turning our attention to pike. And we're doing it absolutely, like, our whole mission is to make this easy, right? We do, yeah. So, this week... So, in your love local box, you've you got love local two box, to three... You're going to get two to three... Three to four pike steaks. Yes, but we also have to cut them down more. So, actually, if you're feeding, uh, you can probably feed up to six people with what's in the bag. It's about two pounds of pike steaks. <clears throat> right. So, uh, let's just start right away here, Tornate. You don't like a big 16-ounce pike steak? Uh, well, no, I never said that. Okay, so something like this size, I'd keep this size. You know what the most beautiful thing is about this? Like, like, look how amazing that is. The most beautiful thing is, it's boneless. Right, so there's one. I'd take this one, cut this in half. So that's two, three. It's a big bike steak. Four, five. Nice, eh? So that's five. Now... Well, and that said, was only half a portion of pike steaks. That was only half a portion because we've already... So uh, you could get, like, potentially well, 10 pike we steaks. Portion, because what you want to do is you want to cut and do this overnight. You want to be marinating your fish overnight in the... Uh, why do I always use this? I really don't know. I should take toys away from or this. Or the scene. maple chili sauce. Mm. Really any sauce you want. Any really sauce you want. And both these sauces you can either... You could if you wanted to make them homemade, that is optional. Or if you want to just go to your local wholesale and support Trisha Cameron down there, or your local Safeway and support uh, Trenton down there, and or your local, that's the only two places, eh? There's really no wrong way, right? Nope, you there can is just no pick up way. your favorite so, marinade. We've had these 
sitting in teriyaki sauce for 24 hours. And there's two in there. So out of that one steak, we got... Are you doing math? Seven. Yeah. Seven, Seven portions. And two pounds of pike steaks. Out of two pounds of pike steaks. Crazy, boneless. So we got teriyaki going on there, so we're going to use this maple chili sauce, which is phenomenal. We used this on... Uh, our pike sliders. We used this on our pike sliders out... Uh, or as we call them, the Thunder Bay Hot Fish. Yeah, the Thunder Bay Hot Fish at the Savior Superior. And we also used them at uh, Top Chef. No, we didn't use them at Top Chef. Yes, we did. We put that in there. Oh, no, we didn't. Tomato, you're right. Tomato relish. You're absolutely right. Okay, so you just want to mix this up. This is going to be nice because it's nice and sugary. So you got two ways to do this, folks. You don't just have to do it this way. If you have honey garlic at home, that'll work. If you have barbecue sauce at Sweet home, thai. that'll work. Sweet thai will work. Teriyaki will work. If you have poison and soy sauce and rice wine sauce. vinegar, fish sauce, that'll work. Cupper salad dressing Cupper works. Cupper salad dressing. Johnny boy, out of Cuppers, we need some more salad dressing. I know you're watching Johnny at Cuppers. Joe ate all the salad dressing. We need some more. Yeah, just throwing it out there. We need some more salad dressing. Um, <clears throat> Okay, so there it is, tornado. Now you just let that sit for 24 hours. We're really not doing good on the viewers today. We're averaging a solid zero. That's okay. They'll come. We can't win them all, right? That's ah, Christmas time. It's they're Christmas out shopping. time. They're all out. Uh, well, you know, they're all rushing down here to buy a smoker. Well, they're all. Well, they heard that we have all this uh, used equipment. equipment. Okay, so now we just let that sit in the uh, fridge for. 24 hours. Hey, look, my mother made me some of my favorite sandwiches. Look at that. Egg, cheese whiz, ham and relish. Beauty, eh? Yeah. Yeah, that's what a chef eats. Okay, so we got this sitting here. If you don't have a tabletop grill, you can also do it on a pan. Barbecue. Barbecue. Uh, bake it in the oven. <clears throat> we're going to use the grill, though. But we're also going to get our vegetables ready, which are local. Or seasonal root vegetable medley. Seasonal root vegetable, and this is easy too. What do we oh. got here for root vegetables? So we got a sweet potato. Let's uh, move this bowl here out of the way. So this is just easy. You know how I am. I keep the skin on everything. I don't like taking the skin off. I hope you washed it. I did. I wash it off before the show because it takes time. Then I just throw it all in here like this. You don't have to be fancy with this, folks. It's just uh, bada bing, bada boom. I enjoy eating raw potatoes. I do. Then we're gonna use an onion. So we got a viewer. You want to say hi to him? What is it? I don't know. What I'm gonna say. Is it Grace? No, it's not Grace. I get a notification. Where is when Grace? Grace? She's always why you know. She's probably out Christmas shopping. She makes very nice baking trays as well. Does she? Yeah, oh, big shout out to uh, Mel oh, and yeah. Hojo's. Put together some amazing uh, baking dishes for us, which we dropped off to Lobick. Hi, Allie. You weren't there when we showed up. Merry Christmas. Allison at the BDC, you weren't there either. Merry Christmas. And uh, Chris, of course, Chris was there at Scotia Bank, and so was Al and uh, the girls. And the girls. Okay, so we just cut these in half. Big chunks. Big chunks. Those aren't that hey, big. you know what? Uh, you know what I find? Uh, you know, I want to give a shout out to somebody else because he's doing some phenomenal work in the community. Uh, his name is Tarat. Don't you think that <clears throat> him and his team going around for the last six days or five days or however long has been handing out beer? What uh, a great gesture! What a great gesture! You know what I mean? Like that's you know, okay, folks. This is coming from the guy that's an alcoholic. So. For me, Traz couldn't drop off enough beer at my house because I, there's just not enough beer in this world for me to drink. So, you know, when I hear things, I'm going to get into this too because this kind of nagged me a little bit. And I, you know, we have, this is our Are, are we talking about the Kenora Rant and Rave? Kenora Rant and Rave. I cannot believe that you would attack Taraz and, and, the, the whole... and his team and his people and his gesture about handing out free beer. Hey, listen. If you're an alcoholic like me, I'm an alcoholic, I, I get it, I'm coming up on 10 years, so I get 30 days, I get, I get it, when you get the orange key tag, and you made it four months without going to jail, and four months with a paycheck, and you didn't go to the liquor store, 
I get it. I've been there. Done that. But if you're an alcoholic, you're the one with the problem, not Traz. Traz is doing something very beautiful for the community and doing something very nice for the locals, right? Who else does that? Who else? You know, I wish Freshwater Cuisine was walking around handing out 1,100 pounds of pipe cakes. Door to people door. would probably think we're absolutely nuts. But the fact of the matter is, Kenora Rant Rave, shame on you. Right, Torn? I, I think that's fair sentiment. I say it is too. Why are you putting on gloves? Uh, because I'm putting on... <laughs> Come here, little fella. Uh, I'm bend on, and cough, I'm please. putting on gloves because I have to cut the beat. So what do you need And I don't gloves? want to get my hands purple. Why not? I don't know. I bet your wife would like that. Nope. nope she wouldn't. Oh. Look how beautiful... Uh, I don't know where these beats came from. Uh, they're local. Oh, that's pretty broad. I mean, could be well, I actually, I think they came from Superior Seasons. They did. Bay. They did. They're beautiful. Look how big they are. Do you leave the skin on beats? I do. I leave the skin on everything. You're a skin on kind of guy. It's eh? the most nutrients of the... Uh, no snip snip for you. Nope. It's the most nutrients of the... Uh, of the vegetable. So, folks, there you have it. Uh, that's how easy that was. You putting any garlic on there? Uh, well, we're going to get there, fella. <coughs> it's like garlic. What can I say? I know you, do. you know what would go nice on there? That ginger garlic. It would. A little bit of our uh, oil. Is that extra virgin? It is. A little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. Garlic that you chopped, eh? And some of this fine local parsley that's been very dried. Did we dry it in our smoker? <laughs> Give it a little toss. Set your uh, grill up to uh, 400. Set your oven up at 400. Not 420, because that's not until July 1st, huh? No, that's uh, April 20th. Oh, okay. Okay, get a pen. Look at that. You know like the origin that, story of 420? That is on. beautiful for four people. Like, look how colorful that is, eh? Like, the beautiful thing about root vegetables in the wintertime, you know what I mean? Beautiful. Here's a question. Let me never set the Christmas tree up in here. I was going to ask you. We're not a very festive office. I'm just putting that why out Why didn't we, uh, well, we can't afford it, A. <laughs> B. Maybe if someone buys the smoker. <laughs> do, do you want me to go on? Okay, uh, so we got our uh, vegetables in there, sitting at 400. We're going to let them rip for about 25 to 30 minutes. Until tender? Until tender. Okay, we got our grill. Hot, get a little bit of pan, or pan, pan, pan or pan, however you want to call it, all right, fella? Get rid of a little spray, get the finest pair of tongs. Which Mo did not steal? Nope. Mo, your food's looking sexy out there at Northwest Anglet. Inlet. Northwest oh. Anglet Inlet. Hear that yeah. sizzle? Bet you that'll make a mess on the grill. I bet you're right. Okay, so now. Huh. Now what? <laughs> <laughs> what do we do now? Yeah, we'll make conversation. Hmm. So, um. A little awkward right now, eh? Yeah. Are you gonna make any uh, turkey of the sea for uh, Thanksgiving? You can go with your actual turkey. Thanksgiving? Or, uh, crit <laughs> <laughs> What do you guys just plan that? What do you what, what do you guys do for uh, where are you having dinner? Kelly's. Oh yeah. yeah. That's nice. Tom invited? Uh, I'm sure if you wanted to, we could come. Oh, that's very nice. I don't think he wants to come. What do you guys eat? Turkey, turkey. stuffing. You know ham? what I have? You know do you guys eat ham? No turkey. Oh, you know what? I thought only like, turkey dinner. Nah. Yeah, yeah. You know what happens is I, you eat too much and you fall asleep and you. I, get you know what I like? It. You're gonna do all that work? Just make a prime rib. <clears throat> I agree, hundred percent. So why aren't you making a prime rib? I can't You're the afford chef. it. I'm oh. the CEO and uh, corporate chef of Freshwater Cuisine. I can barely afford to buy shit white for my own. Anyways. Wow. Too much? So, the fact of the matter is, is that these recipes are super easy, right? Yeah. Like, how easy was that? Oh, it's, it, well, it's not done, but I mean, what did I say? Yeah. We, we spend a lot more time bullshitting than we have. That's cooking. it. That's all we do, right? So, the fact of the matter is, look how beautiful this is coming. Oh, yeah. Here's a question. How long should this cook? Like, a lot of people love, look at this. fish. Look at how beautiful those look. And you know what the... Be oh! So I like to just, uh, because I'm a chef, 
I like to just make grill marks on there so that they look very sexy and appealing when we go to do plating. Mm, what, that, was, what was I going to say? Does that ever smell good? Eh? How do you do your turkey? You deep fry it or you bake it or you, do you brine it? No, I brine it and then... What do you uh, brine it in? That's a secret. Apple juice? Yes, I did guess. Oh. So uh, I, I, I brine it and then uh, Julie's going to make the stuffing then we'll stuff it. What do you put in your stuffing? Uh, that Julie's recipe, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm hoping Do you to make Julie, wild rice? I don't, I hope, Ju well, Julie might, because Julie's very healthy. Um, uh, oh, here's a good shout out for Julie, too, because, you know, I love my wife. Uh, folks, you know, there's five or whatever days left till Christmas, four or five. If you're five. looking for anything amazing, oh, four, Julie puts together some really nice baskets. Um, a lot of heart, a lot of passion, uh, a lot of love put behind these baskets, all for a reasonable price. She does them for kids, for men, for women. Dogs. If you're looking for dildos, she has wow. them too. Uh, just throwing it out there. Uh, she does everything. That was real not I, subtle, just throwing that one. You could have put like adult <laughs> novelties. Okay. That was what, five minutes? I, no, that was definitely not five minutes. That was what, far less. Oh, that is. Oh, well, you no, that's, that's okay, because that's the uh, steak piece of it. Right? That's the tenderloin piece of the... So if you're to look at the steak, take this off. Right? That's your steak. That's that your steak. Good. This is your tenderloin. Yeah. So that's the tenderloin and that's the steak of your uh, fish. Or, you know, even if you're to do steak as well. So when you're cooking like a, a steak, that would be the same thing. There's your tenderloin, right? So those are amazing. Those are cooking up. It does not take long. Let's take a look at our vegetables because it's been 40 minutes, eh? Let's see what we got going on in there. Hmm. You cooked them in a bowl? I did. How beautiful are those? Are those sexy? Those are nice vegetables. Okay, so we're just gonna put a little bit in the middle here. You know what I love? So is this a bed of seasonal it's a bed of vegetables? Seasonal roasted vegetables. Roasted vegetables. You know what I love is the color. Yeah, there's a nice the beets do give a nice color to it. We should have done some roasted garlic in there just. I like roasted garlic. Well, the garlic is getting roasted in there. Yeah, that's not a big chunk of roasted garlic. Oh, I see. Yeah. You like chunks, eh? There's always got to be one person that ruins it for everybody. Yeah. I like to be that guy. Just you, you like to be that guy, eh? Beautiful. How do you know when the pike's ready? Because it doesn't float. Cook it medium rare. So what you'll notice is that it springs back at you. That means it's done. No. So is it done? It's done. <laughs> would you ever guess? Would you ever guess that that's northern pike right now? Honestly, barely resembles fish at this point. Would you ever guess that that's northern pike though? No. How would you guess? How would you guess? Right. Absolutely. Good. Does it smell good? Does smell? What well, smells like teriyaki? <sighs> Smells amazing. It's like a piece of chicken, man. That is beautiful. So there you have it, folks. The second love local box with uh, pairing up with the Clover Belt. A nice teriyaki marinated northern pike steak on top of local roasted vegetables, beets, sweet potato, onion, garlic. Is that beautiful? Oh, beautiful dish. Absolutely beautiful. You're going to get anywhere between six to eight portions out of uh, what we sent. If you have any questions or comments or you want to show us some pictures of your fish dish or videos of your fish dish, just uh, tag Freshwater Cuisine it, hashtag Freshwater Cuisine or at Chef Recovery, or at Torn Burganini, or at Kathleen Wynn, or at... What are you, just shoving things just out Just shoving things out. And make sure to come check out all our used equipment. You want to wish your people a Merry Christmas? Right. From the CEO and corporate chef of Freshwater Cuisine and the whole entire team, we'd like to wish you a Merry Christmas, safe holidays, and a Happy New Year from all of us here at Freshwater Cuisine. It's been a phenomenal year. We love... BSing on the camera, Torn and I. Next year we got some phenomenal things that we're going to put together when it comes to fish because it just doesn't end when it comes to fish, does it, Torn? It does not. 
Are you going to say Merry Christmas? Merry Christmas to all. Bye-bye.